So we're now going to uh, move on to the log and to use the log we're actually going to save this uh, this pad. We've made an instant track um, playlist in the last video. So to save the list click on the floppy disk here and uh, this saves it into our uh, user area. So we'll call this one playlist and we'll click on save and so we're, we're happy with that. We can go to log now and there's no more log here. We can right click and we can either add an empty hour, add hour with carts, add hour from file, or add hour using instant track, a bit like we did for the pad in the previous video. So we're gonna add hour from file because we've created our file here. And uh, here it is, we called it playlist, and it was a cart lists file. Sometimes this will be on a log, but you can just select cart list file, playlist, we'll click on open. It asks us uh, what Day and what hour to do it for so we're just going to set this one for the 11 o'clock hour it's just gone 11 o'clock so let's just click on OK and then it's imported it correctly and here we go it's uh, going to be our uh, live hour and uh, it's imported all of the tracks that we had here and our dry sweepers etc etc we had our three tracks uh, at, at the top so it's done it's moved in and it's uh, imported those for us and uh, so we're ready now to use the log window here on Myriad so this is our log screen and uh, what we'll do is we'll remove the pad because we don't want to see that anymore so remove that by clicking on view and uh, just where it says display pad we can get rid of that and that will bring our log in into uh, the proper wider view. Uh, this has changed quite a bit from the previous version. So uh, this has changed in version four. And uh, what we have at the top here is the dashboard, which will come to life in a minute. At the moment, everything is off in the log. Uh, we've got our power button. We've got our uh, different modes. So we're in preview at the moment. When you're in preview mode, you can preview in live assist mode. You can also preview in auto mode. Our off air and on air controller. And that will uh, change whether or not we're in preview or we're actually live on the radio or not. Uh, we have the go to button jumps to a specific date and time in the log. So if the system has produced some log files, uh, you know, several weeks in advance, you could jump to that show and that time and uh, go in there and tweak around with your playlist. So that allows you to do that. Seg edit that will bring up the seg editor pop up window and allows you to tighten up the segue between the next couple of items. We'll look more closely at SegEdit later on. Carts, that brings up a little cart browser and allows you to drag from, from here straight into your playlist. So that's the carts. It also allows you to jump to specific cart numbers. Also do a find for items and you can just move up and down in your list there. So that's the carts. Brings up a little uh, cart browser. Swap allows you to highlight an item Click on swap. Aha, uh -huh. we're here because we're we're not on air. You can't edit the current hour, which is uh, part of our settings. So if we just uh, click on on air, then we can actually change things. So we've got the swap button here. So we can click on uh, the item that we want to swap. Click on the swap button and let's swap it with uh, Kylie Minogue. So we click on Kylie Minogue and then those two have swapped over. So Liberty X and Kylie Minogue have swapped in the playlist. So that is the swap button. Suggest. So if we didn't really fancy this Kylie track, but we wanted another one, you can click on suggest and it will suggest other songs here from the C list, which is where Kylie is at the moment. We can click on the song that we want instead. So let's go for Madonna and it's swapped it over from Kylie to Madonna. Preview allows you to preview items in the log. You can decide which one is your preview player. And pre-queue, basically it's set to queue up the next item, but uh, by clicking that, you're basically forcing it to queue up the next item. Uh, by default, it is set to queue the item when there's only a certain number of seconds remaining of the current playing item. So there are the buttons down here. Uh, we've got the log itself. So we can see here, pink is songs and this sort of yellow color are links. And we've also got the icons here to show that's to music and links. Uh, this is the time that they're scheduled to play in the log, the cart number, whether there's any information associated with the track, title, an artist, duration, how it ends, the uh, 
intro time, whether there's been a hook set, and then you've got the green, which means that if we were to turn this on and actually go into live assist mode, it will just play this song. At the end of it, it would hit the green and go on to the next song. And so you can change that between green and red. So red obviously means at the end of that song that it will stop. But hey, we'll fire things up and uh, it will become clearer. Let's uh, get things underway. So uh, we've clicked on on air, so we're actually able to manipulate the log and we'll click on the first song here. And you can see by going to on air, we change the modes here. We've now got live assist, auto and auto fade. Live assist, that will basically give you the ability to click reds at the end and it will queue things up for you, but won't play them unless you've greened the previous song and it will move on to the other. So live assist gives you the uh, capabilities of doing a live show. Auto, that will just play items back to back uh, in a row, just like a, a very long shopping list, big playlist of items back to back. Auto fade, that will allow uh, Myriad to fade and drop songs in order to hit absolute time markers or the next hour block. So they are the three different modes. So we're going to do live assist. So we click on live assist, that turns on the log so we've now got a green power button here and we can see it's all queued up it's queued up that track that we had here first and it's loaded it into car player one so we need to just make sure that on our mixer here that we've got our channel one open and it's all ready to go we've got a go button here at the top and then when we're ready then we can click on the go button and that fires off our first track and uh, we have our normal windows down at the bottom here and you can see that uh, the moment that that track started playing it queued up the next track down here into the next available car player which was uh, which is uh, this track here and so if we wanted it to go straight on and play the next track then we are okay we're all, all okay we've got the green so it will move on to the next track but if we wanted to do a bit of talking between this song and the next one then we need to put a red at the end and to do that you can uh, click on the green over here or you can actually just go up to the dashboard up the top and uh, click on the green that turns it into a red stop icon so now uh, we can uh, describe the dashboard a little bit better for you because we can see what things are going on we've got uh, the ability to dump the current playing item we can pause the current item and we also have the ability to dump the next item or dump the later item so say for example we didn't want liberty x to play next then we can click on the dump button and uh, that will soft delete it out of the log and uh, it will uh, basically jump over it and you can see down actually in the log it's now greyed out and there's the X next to the music if we wanted to get that back for any reason we'd made a mistake then uh, we can just click on the icon that will bring it back and it will put it back in the list so Liberty X is back in the list some other things to be aware of we if we click back and we put this on to green we can see down here we've got an hour 12 minutes and 48 seconds until uh, it's going to stop which is basically the end of the log but uh, if we were to change uh, this one this liberty x and so we would play these two songs cameraman and liberty x back to back but we wanted to do some talking after liberty x if we readied the item there then it changes down here and it tells us that we've got four minutes and uh, 46 seconds until we need to do some more talking or, or do something at least. So that's the next break in the log. We've got how long we've got left of the song here. Uh, nice, bold and bright right up the top here. So we've got no chance of uh, missing it or hopefully no chance of missing it. So uh, that's the current song that's playing and uh, we're we're all okay if we wanted to we can fire off the next item just by clicking on the go button or by clicking on the play controls down at the bottom and uh, so we're actually going to use the go button and what that will do is it will fire off the next song and it will fade and then dump out the cameraman we're not actually going to uh, hear the song due to copyright issues but if we click on go then it would uh, fire off that song and dump the cameraman and we're away with our Liberty X track 
and uh, we're ready. We're going to be doing some talking at the end of this one. So we've now got two minutes 40 until we're going to do our little link. Some other things to explain to you in the log, uh, total log hour duration. So that's how much material we've got in our log before the end of it. It tells you the date and time uh, of the log that we're looking at at the moment and also tells you how much we're going to overrun in the hour. So we've got basically we're, we're 23 minutes and 56 seconds over in the hour. So we're never going to uh, hit the top of the hour unless we delete some songs. So let's go ahead and do that. So to reduce our overrun and our underrun, let's do some deleting. Let's do some soft deleting. So we can uh, highlight the song and we can do the soft delete in a variety of different ways. We can highlight it with the keyboard and we can jump up and down in the keyboard using the scroll keys, scroll arrow keys. And if we didn't want that one, we can just click on the delete button. And if we didn't want Bon Jovi, and you see every time we do that, if you just keep a watch on the overrun uh, duration here, while I highlight this next track and click on delete, the moment I do that, it recalculates whether or not we're going to overrun or underrun. And uh, so we'd still need to get rid of a few more tracks. So let's let's scroll down and we'll also get rid of that one. And uh, we'll get rid of Queen. And we'll just keep on deleting some songs. And then now we're, you can see we're on a underrun of 21 seconds. So that's good. That gives us 21 seconds of, uh, of our own links to do or, and our own items to do in the hour. Um, so we might want to delete another song as well, just to just so that we've got a good bit of time because we're we're still only 15 minutes into the hour, so we've still got a fair amount of talking. So uh, to jump back to get back to where we are in the log, click on the home button here. You've also got scroll up and down, and you can jump to the start of the hour and to the next hour, and then the rubbish bin here. If you've placed anything in the rubbish bin which you can do by left clicking, dragging and dropping over the bin, then uh, that then fills up with uh, with rubbish. We can uh, stick that back. So if we drag Gwen Stefani in, then she's in the bin. But if we click on that, it empties the bin and restores it back to normal. Oh, there's our Liberty X. Our Liberty X song has come to the end. And uh, you can now see that nothing is playing now in the log. And we've got our third track all lined up. Durand and wrong and so this would be the stage where we were doing our link and you can actually see that our underrun time is now ticking down because we are using up our underrun by uh, chatting here and then when we're ready to play the song when we finished our link we can click on go or we can click on the play button down at the bottom the moment we do that our underrun stops and uh, our item starts playing we've got our normal intro and it's queued up our next item for us in the next available cart player, which is uh, in this instance is cart player number one. So uh, that's how you do your start and your stop. Once the items have been played, they get a nice tick next to them. And uh, so that you can see that you've played everything uh, as you should be. So we've soft deleted. We've also hard deleted by left clicking, dragging down into the bin. You can also do a hard delete by holding down the shift key and then pushing the delete button and that will remove it. The benefit with only soft deleting is say we wanted this Bon Jovi track back. We could highlight it, click the delete key again and it undeletes it and say we wanted to delete, delete that one. And then that way we've kind of swapped those over. And we haven't completely got rid of them. So that's the benefit of uh, the soft delete achieved by highlighting, clicking on the delete or actually clicking on the icon. So if we didn't want the dry sweeper and if we didn't want Bon Jovi, just clicking on the item and that will jump things down. So the next item now to play was this uh, Sugar Babes track.